Have you ever tried to copy something to your clipboard only to find out it just won't work? It's frustrating, right? If that's you, then you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into how to copy to the clipboard using .NET Core. I completely understand your concern. Many developers have faced this issue, especially when trying to implement clipboard functionality in a platform agnostic way. You're definitely not alone in this struggle. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user asked, is it possible to copy something to the clipboard using .NET Core? They mentioned that the clipboard class seems to be missing and that p-invoking isn't an option outside of Windows. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So what's the deal with clipboard functionality in .NET Core? The clipboard class is indeed not available in .NET Core which can be quite limiting for cross-platform applications. But don't worry, we have some workarounds to discuss. And stick around. I have a great workaround to share at the end that will help you implement clipboard functionality in your applications. To copy text to the clipboard in a platform agnostic way using .NET Core, the user can utilize the clipboard class from the system.windows.forms namespace. However, this requires a Windows Forms application. If the user is looking for a cross-platform solution, they can use a library like Clipboard from the Clipboard NuGet package. This package provides a simple way to interact with the Clipboard across different platforms. Next, the user should ensure that they have the necessary permissions to access the Clipboard, especially on platforms like Linux or Mac OS, where Clipboard access may be restricted. Finally, the user can test the clipboard functionality by running their application and attempting to copy text. They should verify that the text is available in the clipboard by pasting it into another application. Fun fact, did you know that the clipboard was first introduced in the 1980s? It has come a long way since then. But the challenges remain for developers today. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution for copying to the clipboard in .NET Core involves modifying the copy method to handle multi-line text. This user suggests using a temporary file to store the text lines before copying them. The user notes that for single lines, a simple command can be used, but for multiple lines, they recommend writing to a temporary file and then using a command to copy the content. They also mention that this solution is specific to Windows. Additionally, they advise ensuring that the path for the temporary file does not contain spaces and suggest removing checks for empty lines if you want to keep them in the clipboard copy. Now, let's see a response from a different user. An alternative approach to copying text to the clipboard in .NET Core involves using PowerShell. This user suggests creating a static class with methods to set and get clipboard text. They note that this method has only been tested on Windows. The user also mentions that the PowerShell commands for clipboard operations, set clipboard and get clipboard, have varied availability across different PowerShell versions, being available in version 5.1, not in 6, but returning in version 7. Let's move forward and look at another answer. This user points out that there is no universal clipboard function in .NET Core, making it impossible to copy to the clipboard in a completely platform agnostic way. They emphasize that the clipboard is a UI concept and that some environments may not even have command line tools available. They also highlight potential security risks when using commands to copy text as malicious input could lead to dangerous outcomes. For a more reliable solution, they suggest using inter-process communication for long-term needs. As a simple workaround, they mention that right-clicking in the terminal window and selecting copy works well for them. Now, let's see a response from a different user. An alternative approach for copying to the clipboard on Linux involves using the Clipper Dbus interface. This method avoids dependencies on GTK and command line tools that may not be installed by default. Here's a brief overview of the code. 
First, create a Linux clipboard class that inherits from generic clipboard. Then, implement methods to set and get clipboard contents using the Clipper Dbus interface. Make sure to include AsyncX for synchronizing if needed. This approach provides a practical solution for clipboard operations in a Linux environment. Here's the workaround I promised. Consider using a combination of platform-specific code and third-party libraries to achieve clipboard functionality in your .NET Core applications. This approach can save you a lot of headaches. And there you have it. You now have the tools to implement clipboard functionality in your .NET Core applications. Remember, exploring third-party libraries and platform-specific solutions can make a big difference. If you found this helpful, hit that subscribe button for more tips.